There are some great football managers moving on to pastures new, leaving space for a new generation of coaches to move up the ranks. There are plenty of exciting talent stepping into the spotlight. So let's take a look at who could be among the next great managers in world football. Hello and welcome to Football Now. It's fair to say that in terms of coaches and managers, football is going through somewhat of a transitional period. As some of the big names from the last decade begin to move on, over the next two episodes, Football Now will take a look at who could be the next Pep Guardiola, Jurgen Klopp or Jose Mourinho. Let's start in Europe. We begin in Spain. Xabi Alonso and Mikel Arteta are two great coaches already tipped to take Pep Guardiola's crown as one of the world's greatest managers. Arteta, a previous assistant of Guardiola at Manchester City, is currently getting excellent results at Arsenal and battling his former mentor for titles at the top of the Premier League. Meanwhile, Alonso's first full season as manager of Bayer Leverkusen resulted in an invincible title win. So, has having solid backgrounds in the game given them a head start? They're clearly very talented. Arteta, I think, let's start there, with, with Arsenal. He is very much a disciple of Guardiola in that sense. I think there are a lot of parallels in the way that he would like his team to play, in the way he would like his players to do things. But I think there's a very real chance that he could go on to be very successful, whether he'll be a Guardiola at that kind of level, that yet remains to be seen. Xavi Alonso is kind of more calm, collected, but he's clearly brilliant. I would actually hedge a bit on him to be more like the level of a Guardiola with time. I'm really excited to see what Xavi Alonso is capable of doing, because I think we will see him at the bigger clubs, without a doubt. We'll see him at Real Madrid one day, we'll probably see him at Liverpool one day, and I imagine he'll win silverware at, at both places. Well, speaking of ex-players thriving in management, another disciple of Guardiola has recently become his rival in England. Italian-born Enzo Maresca used to work with Pep at City, just like Arteta, and has now become the main man at Chelsea. He took the job on the back of winning the championship with Leicester last season and getting them promoted back to the Premier League. So what can we expect from another graduate of the Guardiola School of Coaching? I don't know what the Chelsea fan can expect from Areska because the environment, or so we'll say, let's say, is eating managers, <laughs> in fact, in the last years. But I'm very curious. I have to say, I'm very, very curious to see him and I hope he will do well. The fact that he doesn't have an Italian formation, I think that he's making Italian people undervaluing him, maybe, underestimating him. But we will see. We will see. We will see. Maresca isn't the only promising name on our radar either. Ex-international defender Thiago Motta impressed massively at Bologna last season in Serie A. He has been appointed the new head coach of Juventus. Roberto Di Zerbi is another man who's shown a lot of promise. He left Brighton at the end of last season and will take charge of Ligue 1 team Marseille at the start of the new campaign. Over to Germany and 36-year-old Julian Nagelsmann has just experienced his first major tournament with the national team, but he's not the only German coach catching the eye. Brighton replaced De Zerbi with 31-year-old coach Fabian Herlitzer, who won 20 of 34 matches with St Pauli in Bundesliga 2 last season. Stuttgart manager Sebastian Hernes is also highly regarded inside Germany after beating Bayern Munich to second place in the Bundesliga last season. Due to Leverkusen's title win, Hernes's achievement went somewhat unnoticed around Europe but inside Germany, his stock couldn't be higher. Sebastian Hoeneß, he's still very young. I think he's in his early 40s. And a few years ago, he coached Bayern's second team to a title in the third German division. That's a huge, huge achievement. He had some big players on that team that he's since brought to Stuttgart. They followed him. And I think it's always a good sign of uh, the quality of a manager when players kind of follow them from club to club. And this year they were second in the Bundesliga. Uh, I think that hasn't written, no one's really noticed that abroad, but they were second in the Bundesliga ahead of Bayern Munich. And I think that has a ton to do with the coach because the squad is good, but it, they, they really have no business being that high up. So it has a lot to do with the manager. Well, another young manager who's earned respect in his own country is sporting Lisbon coach Ruben Amarim. Much like Alonso, he was linked with lots of top jobs around Europe this summer, but he chose to stay put in Portugal after delivering Sporting's second league title in 20 years. Now, with Jose Mourinho beginning to be overlooked for some of the top managerial vacancies, 
is Amarim set to be the next special coach to be produced in Portugal? Uh, I think Sir Roland Amarim is, is destined to, to, to manage in Premier League, uh, to play every season to win it. I think he's in that level right now. He can, he can do it uh, because of his revolutionary philosophy and attractive football. He's still young. He has many years of coaching ahead. So it, I think this is a good, a good decision for him to stay at Sporting one more year at, at least. And I think the, what he can build at Sporting looks very great. So for me, he's one of the, if not the best uh, Portuguese coach at the moment, one of them running is destined to do big things. With some famous managers approaching the twilight years of their careers, it's safe to say that the future of European football is in good hands. Let us know your thoughts using the hashtag FootballNowUpcomingCoaches. And that's all we've got time for from our studio here in Doha. We'll be back next week to take a deep dive into some of the coaches around the world ready to revolutionise football. Bye for now.